Okay, so I think we're online. So let's give this a whirl. Uh, so this video is for Stan K and anybody else who might be interested in it. It's a, a little problem that comes up with uh, ETC EOS from time to time where you get people asking how do I create um, submasters to drive individual color parameters in my lights. Um, it's the kind of thing that on a simple desk, uh, like a manual uh, uh, preset desk is very easy to do and is the common way that you control um, multi-parameter fixtures like uh, color changing LEDs. Um, in the EOS it's a little bit more complicated because you kind of have to undo a little bit of the logic by which uh, the EOS manages these types of fixtures. Um, the EOS is really great. It makes a whole bunch of assumptions about the way you want to work and um, makes working with multi-parameter fixtures really efficient. But sometimes when you want to gain back that manual control using subs, you have to undo a little bit of those assumptions. So what I've got here is I've got a, um, a show file set up with 12 uh, ETC LED source 4, uh, source 2 lusters. And you can see if I turn them on, there they are in my augmented window. Now th this process works uh, irrespective of what kind of uh, LED fixture you are using. Um, and there's a couple of different ways you can get around the different uh, quantities, types of LED chips that you are mixing. This is obviously a more complicated fixture. It, it has seven different colors in it. Um, and you can either create a version of this where you have seven submasters, each with a different color, or you can just do the red, green, blues, or you can mix your own colors. Really, it's entirely up to you how you want to set it up. I find that um, using uh, the desk in this way is really more for educational purposes than it is for um, uh, show purposes. Certainly in theatre I'd never set up a desk this way. Um, busking live you might uh, do it this way um, but I find that most of the time when I'm being asked to do this it's from an educational point of view where um, you want to be able to demonstrate colour mixing to students. So um, the process. Uh, we have our 12 fixtures, they're on and what we're going to do down here in our um, moving light control is we're just going to set all of the color values to zero. Okay, um, now then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to record our first sub, sub one, and we're going to label it as our uh, color mix master. Like that, and then we're going to go sub one, and there he is. Okay, now next thing we're going to do is we're going to select all our uh, subs again, uh, sorry, all our lights again, 1 through 12, and we're going to put our red at full, and then what we're going to do is we're going to select that red chip only, so channel 1 through 12 red, record sub 2, uh, and then we can click there and pop that in straight away. Uh, confirm and label sub 2 as red. Now I'm just going to use red, green and blue here for this purposes but we can we can come back to this later. So we'll do the same process again. We'll select our fixtures, select the green chip. Now it doesn't actually matter what's outputting here at the moment as long as you just select green before you record it will only record the green values and not the red ones. Uh, we'll call that sub 3, label green Oops, we did one too many of that. That's okay, we can do that. Uh, and then finally, with our blue chip, we'll go blue, max, blue, record, sub, four. Like that, label, blue. Uh, fat fingers, uh, sub, four, label, blue. Done. Okay, so now there's a couple of other things we have to do here before this will work. We go to our submasters and we can see here that we've got our four submasters in our subs list. And at the moment they are all additive subs uh, with a proportional master and we want to change this. Okay, so we want to first select our sub one. Sub one, select. Now what we want to do here is we want to change it from a proportional master to an intensity master. What does this do? Well, basically, 
what this sub is going to do for us is it's going to set the conditions of the desk in order for us to be able to um, perform additive mixing with our subs. All of our LED fixtures, when we patch them into the desk, uh, by default, the home values for all their color parameters will be at full, and we need to undo this uh, before we can start additive mixing. Now, there's a few different ways of doing this, and I've had discussions with people, and there's been talks online. You can absolutely do this a different, in many different ways. This is just the way I like to do it, because I like to keep all my fixtures consistent in the patch, which means I want them all to be homing to full color values. So what this sub is going to do is it's going to set our intensity uh, of our fixtures to full, but it's also going to set our color parameters to zero. And by making it an intensity master, it's going to do that straight away. It's not going to, um, it's not going to matter if our sub is at 50% uh, or 0% or 100%. That'll control the intensity values, but it won't affect the uh, the color values they will stay at zero as long as this uh, they will they will be set at zero as long as this guy is set to an intensity master. Okay, so we will do that and then we will make uh, red, green, and blue can stay like that. I've probably forgotten something, but hey, let's see how we go. Now, let's just clear the output of our desk and then let's bring up our color mix and you can see that all our faders are full and zero and you can see that moving this and then you'll now find that bringing up our red green and blue faders is giving us our subtractive uh, our additive color mixing All right and our intensity master is controlling our intensity values, but you can see here it's not overriding our... Now, from memory, I know there was a little trick to this. If I take this to zero, is that going to... Yeah. So at the moment, if I take this to zero, it's going to reset my color values because it's going to override these guys here. So the way you get around that is just by selecting subs two through four and then giving them a higher priority. So if we do that, we give them a priority of five. Um, and what that means is that when we go back to live, da, 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 let's just go back to live. Now what's gonna happen is when we activate these subs, taking that to zero, isn't going to reset those values, okay? Now, the only thing you need to do here is when you've finished using this and you wanna take the desk back to normal, you just need to turn off, as you can see, when I take this guy to zero, see how all my, uh, my color parameters are still yellow. They're still getting uh, values derived from this sub one because he is an intensity master. The, the non-intensity parameters haven't turned off. So we do that by clicking on the bump button and everything's turned off and the desk is back to normal and you can run the desk however you want. And that is how I do color mixing subs. Now, obviously with the uh, Source 4 lusters, they have more than red, green, blue chips and you may go, well, I wanna have access to all the chips. Well, you can repeat this process for every color individually. You could mix your own colors. Like, I, I mean, obviously the more faders you have with colors, the more complicated it gets. So what you might do is go, well, I want to have my red and amber on one sub, so that's my warm sub, and then I want to have my lime and green on another sub, and that's my greenish sub, and then blue and indigo and cyan on my blue sub. You know, you can do a diff bunch of different combinations like that. It's really up to you. The process doesn't change. Um, I hope that answers your question, Stan, and makes it clear. Um, any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot.